Hi, Dr. Bob Flower. Uh, today is uh, September 28th, uh, 2015, and um, this is an announcement uh, of uh, worldwide importance. Uh, we of the Gilchrist Institute for the Achievement Sciences in Bronxville, New York, have uh, discovered the Holy Grail, and we've managed to decode that phenomenon. Now, uh, this occurred uh, a number of years ago, but it finally came to fruition. Um, I can't tell you uh, what prevented us from making an announcement uh, a number of years ago, except for our fear for what might occur. But there was a reason, and I began to discover what that reason was for the delay um, back on um, April 4th of 2015 when I awoke from a dream uh, with the words, the next time this occurs, make the announcement. And I had no idea what that meant until just last week actually, or a couple of weeks ago, when it became obvious that April 4th uh, was the third of the four uh, blood moons. And they usually stand for significant inventions or, or discoveries. So here I am, uh, the fourth blood moon and the discovery of the Holy Grail. So let's, let's get on with it. The Holy Grail uh, is a special genetic structure. It's a key cell within each of us. It is representative of the notion that there exists a perfect physical cell, which in turn leads to a perfect entity, a perfect state of mind. This is the holy blood concept. This cellular unit is biological and is developed according to certain principles of creation, organization, and functionality. When human behavior follows these principles with selfless intent, mastery ensues, sometimes enlightenment. The Holy Grail is a visible, comprehensive method for defining the structure of nature. It's a set of principles and systems we utilize every day of our lives. What is the Holy Grail and what can it do for us? Well, the Holy Grail represents something that we all want very badly, but it's very difficult to achieve. It is actually representative of a perfect bloodline, a genetics which fosters superior creative, organizational, and functional talents. It does this in all realms, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually or, or intuitively. The Grail represents a segment of our genetics which enables incredible levels of potential development. It's inbred within us. This was found in our research of cellular development. It's what the scriptures and ancient sites are all trying to tell us. The Holy Grail calls out to each of us, follow me, follow nature. Since our discovery of the Holy Grail stems directly from biological principles of cellular development, we have successfully applied these principles to behavior, intelligence, and potential development. Hence, we have uh, captured the efficiency, effectiveness, truth, and virtue of nature, and then applied that to the human psyche. Historically, it's an ancient mystical mystery addressing the secrets of life. While in a grounded sense, it is a methodology for answering life's issues, life's questions. It concerns things people want, but are very hard to achieve. So what is this cell and what about it? Well, here it is. Here's the Holy Grail cellular model. The process of cellular development uh, was, uh, the information was gleaned from the findings of a late friend and colleague, Dr. Daryl Langham. Dr. Daryl G. Langham was a graduate of Cornell University and a contemporary of Bucky Fuller. 
he developed this cellular model, this concept. He was a brilliant geneticist working with plant cells uh, who discovered what he called the living geometry of a cell. His geometric model was based on title specific principles identified during the creation of a cell. Uh, he was also awarded uh, by the Venezuelan, Venezuelan government uh, a high recognition of, of honor. What does it do for me, for, for humankind? It helps us to plan, organize, and function at high levels. Also, it assists us in synthesizing and synchronizing information. On a universal scale, the principles and systems reflect an order of natural law because of these adherences to the physical sciences and its interpretation of human behavior. Why and how is this so? It's so because these systems are inherent in various physical sciences, such as biology and chemistry. They are non-referential. Actually, they are directional and instructional. They have no preference. Therefore, they cannot be manipulated by human rules. What about the Holy Grail in leadership? Well, here we refer you to the Bible. 1 Peter 2-7. He who believes in it will not be disturbed. They, the leaders, have made falsehood their refuge and concealed themselves with deception. It is the stone which the builders rejected. And there are a number of biblical quotes that allude to just that, those two same phrases. So is the Grail experience cranial, experiential, intuitive? Well, it's that and more. After you understand it, which is relatively easy, and you start to experience it in your daily life, it is intuitive nature, which will be nurtured. Benefits of the grail and grail qualities. It will help to find oneself, see your soul. It will help to understand one's environments. One can achieve greater levels of potential following the grail. It ultimately leads to illumination. It provides a definable, pragmatic set of pr sets of principles, which we call natural law, by which one can follow. It represents rules or laws of nature, not humankind. Accordingly, they are absolute and not subject to human manipulation. Its principles are self-organizing. They find ways to resolve and come to resolution. They have no point of reference, therefore the individual establishes outcomes on their own. They respond best to virtue and spirit, and by spirit we mean energy. There's a great deal more concerning the Holy Grail. There's direct relationships to Old Testament, New Testament, the Kabbalah, and many religious texts. And certainly, just about every, not just about every philosopher that ever walked the planet, in some way, is relating to these principles of the Holy Grail. It's what the ancient sites are telling us in a geometric form. We will have more information on the discovery and decoding of the Holy Grail. I ask you to take this very seriously, because it's something that I truly believe this planet needs at this point in time. We need to have principles to live by, to follow, which are not only personally inclined, but absolutely without any basis, positive, negative. They are solid, substantial, definite principles by which we can lead our lives and follow nature. Thank you. Have a good day.